Welcome back friends. Today let's continue with our third session in Gentex. And I've decided to use these notes rather than those soft copy notes because of their competence. So we are going on and as we discussed in the previous lecture about the definitions and about the general concept of genetics. Genetic material. Our genetic material and your vitum bubble vinachukua sasa information toka kwa mzazi kwenda kwa mtoto tuseme genetics is all about the inheritance of characteristics from parent to offspring kwa hiyo parent anakuwa na vitu fulani labda rangi ya nywele rangi ya ngozi toka hapo inabeba kwenda kwa mtoto kwa kinabeba kwa nini kinabeba kwenye genetic material so tuna two types of genetic material we have two types of genetic material uh, kama ambavyo iko hapo ni DNA and RNA. So DNA kwa kirefu ni deoxyo ribonucleic acid. Wakati RNA ni ribonucleic acid. So nataka twende tuone moja moja kwa deoxyo ribonucleic acid pamoja na na ribonucleic acid. Ah uh, hizi zote zimekuwa made up of nucleotide DNA pamoja na RNA zimekuwa made up of nucleotide. Nucleotide ina vitu vitatu ambavyo tutaenda kuviona hapo mbele kidogo. Nucleotide inakuwa na vitu vitatu. Nucleotide inakuwa na sugar, ikiwa ina sugar inakuwa na ina phosphate group after kwa inakuwa na nitrogenous base. Kwa unaona hapo tumeanza kusoma DNA. DNA composition of DNA. DNA is composed of the following. DNA is composed of the following components. First is deoxyribose sugar. Kwa hiyo kwenye kule kwenye 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 ribonucleic acid sugar inakuwa ribose. Hii imeandikwa deoxyribose. Deoxyribose na ribose sugar zinafanana. Utofauti ni kwamba kwenye deoxy D manake ni kama ime decrease moja au imeondolewa imekuwa deleted. Oxy ni oxygen, ribose. Kwa ribose sugar iliyoko kule kwenye ribonucleic acid na huko kwenye oxygen zinachotofautiana ni nini hii ni deoxyo maana kimeondolewa oxygen moja at position number 2 kwenye hiyo ribose sugar tumeondoa oxygen so this is deoxyo ribose sugar ime contain deoxyo ribose sugar this is the five carbon sugar pentose ikiwa five carbon ina carbon tano tunaita pentose pia group ya pili ambayo iko kwenye DNA ni nini ni phosphate group this is an heterogeneous base ambazo kwenye hizo nitrogenous uh, I mean kuna phosphate group hiyo ni ya pili ya tatu ni nitrogenous base hivyo ni vitu vitatu tofauti so huyu aliandika tu hapa liko sasa lakini we have deoxyribose sugar then the second group is phosphate group the third group is nitrogenous bases au organic bases now we have four organic bases in DNA adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine kwenye rna thiamine is replaced by uracil thiamine is replaced by uracil kwa hiyo kifupi ndio hivyo organic base ndio hizi hapa nne kwenye dna hata kwenye rna hizi kwa nne ila tofauti ni kwamba si exactly the same so These bases are held together by weak hydrogen hydrogen bonds phosphate group and organic base forms nucleotide. Ko hivi vitu vitatu ukiunganisha kuanzia deoxyribose sugar ukaunganisha phosphate group na ukaunganisha organic base zinatengeneza kitu kinaitwa nini nucleotide. Ko nucleotide ukilizo nucleotide ina vitu vitatu ina deoxyra ina sugar ina sugar nucleotide ina sugar in a phosphate group then in organic base therefore dna is made up of polynucleotide polynucleotide poly means many so poly means many nucleotide ndio hizi hapa tuzosema nucleotide ina vitu vitatu sugar phosphate na organic base ambazo organic base ndio hizo hapo so uh, in its structure dna it is double helix double helix and it is twisted double helix it is twi twisted or sometimes you can say it is a double stranded helix 
uh, <clears throat> ni kwamba ina strand mbili kama unavyoona huku na huku lakini pia iko twisted si unaona hapa ni kwamba strand imetoka huku imekatiza imekuja imeenda hivi na strand nyingine ilitokea huku imekatiza sio kwamba ziko straight kama ambavyo ziko huku kwa hiyo twisted structure of dna ni imechorwa tu kuonyesha jinsi gani dna ipo lakini actually how dna uka is like this which is twisted now you see uh, katika dna katika dna hapa ni kama umechora tu roughly lakini huko kuna kwa kuna specific pattern of pairing ambayo always ni adenine huwa na pair na thiamine by two hydrogen bonds na cytosine huwa na pair na guanine by three hydrogen bonds kwa hiyo hapa katikati manake hii huku hii hii huku hii tunaita ni backbone hii backbone huwa inakuwa imetengenezwa na na pentose sugar hii backbone backbone hapa inakuwa inatengenezwa na pentose sugar pamoja na phosphate hafu hii huku ndio unakuja kuona organic base ndio inakuwa hapo adenine cytosine guanine cytosine guanine thiamine organic base inakuwa hapo so hapa katikati kati ya organic base na organic base ndio pana kwa pana hydrogen bonds the weak hydrogen bonds which tend to maintain the structure of of dna the weak hydrogen bond which tend to maintain the structure of dna kwa hiyo tukichola ile ni ilikuwa ni, ni dna lakini pia hii hapa ni ni rna rna ni dna ile 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 wamechola one strand ili kuweza ku, ku expand kuweza ku expand nimesema rna kwa sababu ni confuse rna is, is single stranded utanielewa baada ya kidogo kama hujaelewa kwa hiyo hapa kilichopo ni kwamba unaona kuna sugar pentose sugar kuna phosphate kwa kati ya phosphate huyu hapa na huyu hapa tena kati ya phosphate huyu huyu ni sugar mwingine hapo kuna kwa kuna kuna bond hii bond inaitwa phosphodiester bond phosphodiester bond hata kama usipojua kwa levo yako form phosphate mbali lakini this bond is called phosphodiester bond hii bond inaitwa phosphodiester bond kwa hiyo unakuta kuna sugar kuna organic base then kuna kwa kuna phosphate phosphate ile pale na sugar tena kuna kwa kuna phosphodiester bond kwa hiyo unakuta kuna nitrogenous base kuna pentose sugar na kuna phosphate each kitu hapo ndio nakita nini a nucleotide each each nucleotide yani nitrogenous base pentose sugar phosphate inaita nucleotide so this is one nucleotide hii hapa ni another nucleotide hii hapa ni nucleotide lakini hajachola base hapa amesa kuchola base so that's the uh, the basic structure of, of, of dna lakini pia kwenye rna ukija wanakuambia kwamba like dna is a nucleic acid rna pia ni nucleic acid but it differs from dna by possessing pentose sugar ribose instead of deoxyribose and ina 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 kwa ina uracil badala ya thiamine kwa hiyo uh, ukija kuangalia rna yenyewe ina ina ribose badala ya deoxyribose na ina kwa ina uracil badala ya thiamine ah uh, hiyo kama ujerevu hii tutafungua tuna nusu nyingine hapa hapo nitakuonyesha upate kunielewa lakini kuna types za RNA we have three types of, of RNA we have messenger then we have transfer pamoja na ribosomo RNA messenger RNA kazi yake anachukua message toka kwenye nucleus yeye yeah, anacopy DNA anachukua message toka kwenye nucleus anakuja kwenye kwenye cytoplasm kwa katika mambo ya protein synthesis messenger RNA huwa anahusika pale na kazi yake ni anafanya kazi ya transcription baada ya transcription baada ya transcription yeye anachukua message toka kwenye nucleus anakuja nayo kwenye cytoplasm that's messenger RNA then transfer RNA huwa kazi yake ni kuchukua amino acids kutoka kwenye cytoplasm kuja kwenye ribosomes kwa ajili ya kufanya protein synthesis na ribosomu RNA yeye anatengeneza organelles kwenye seli kama umeshaisikia umeshaisikia ribosomes ribosomes they are made up of ribosomal RNA ribosomes they are made up of ribosomal RNA na kama unavyoweza kuona hapa hapa tunazo difference charge difference charge tu kati ya DNA pamoja na RNA difference charge tu uh, difference moja hii unaona has organic bases cytosine guanine adenine and thiamine kati ya RNA has organic bases cytosine guanine adenine and uracil 
lakini pia kwa mfano DNA ina ina pento sugar mbili nani dioxyribose wakati RNA ina pento sugar mbili nani ni ribose lakini ngoja ni ni kufungulia nosi nyingine hapa ni kuonyesha kidogo the structure of DNA and RNA ambayo inaweza kuelewa sadi kuliko hii kwa hiyo kama ambao umeelezea kule unaweza kuona hapo mwenyewe structure ya DNA DNA is the double stranded helical spiral molecule helical or spiral spiral na helical ni kitu kile so it the double stranded helical spiral molecule chain of a nucleic acid found within the nucleus of the cell by double stranded helical it means that DNA consists of two strands which twist around each other in a spiral fashion kama hapo unaweza kuona hapo kwamba strand hiyo hapa ame twist ame twist ame twist na kwa hiyo ame twist kwa hizi hapa ndio organic bases na kwa zimepea hapo na unaweza kuona ku kuna rangi hizo wamekuwekea kwamba hii this i don't know this is the orange huyu ni adenine huyu green ni guanine huyu hapo blue ni cytosine na huyu hapo ambaye ni ni kama red au pink is thiamine kwa unaweza kuona thiamine pairs with adenine kwa sababu unaona hapo red with orange that is thiamine you see adenine ah uh, huyu hapo ni adenine with thiamine huyu blue ni cytosine with green guanine so unaona So cytosine pairs with guanine by the three hydrogen bonds. Then adenine pairs with thiamine by two hydrogen bonds. Kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo DNA huwa inakuwa. Usiulize sana hilo swali kwamba kwa nini cytosine na guanine kuna kwa kuna kuna three hydrogen bond alafu adenine na thiamine kuna kwa kuna two. Hiyo ni because ya structure zake jinsi zilivyo even scientists ya hajatoa hiyo reason kwamba why we na kwa na kwa kwa unaweza kuona kwamba uh, the DNA is made up of many nucleotide forming a polynucleotide chain polynucleotide means many nucleotide the polynucleotide chain run in opposite direction each chain is joined to each other by pair of bases there are four bases namely guanine uh, inakuwa kama capital G then cytosine uh, cytosine hapa ni, ni C Uh, ni capital C o oh. capital C then so guanine cytosine adenine and thiamine na structure DNA ndio inaonekana kama hivyo kwenye kwenye diagram so unatakiwa note note guanine and adenine are collectively called purines while cytosine and thiamine are collectively called pyrimidines kwa hiyo unaona Uh, kwenye pairing hapo purine haiwezi kapea na purine mwanzake gua na which is purine inapea na pyrimidine which is cytosine na adenine ambayo ni purine inapea na pyrimidine ambayo ni ni thiamine ukiziangalia vizuri gua na adenine ambazo ni purine zina two uh, zina two rings kwenye structure yake unaona kuna kwa kuna kuna two rings hapo kuna epentose na hexose ring wakati ukiangalia cytosine kwenye structure yake zina kwa zina zina only a single ring kwa hiyo uh, unaona hapo kwenye maelezo guanine pairs with cytosine and adenine pairs with thiamine DNA plays a key role in inheritance because it replicates itself during mitosis and meiosis DNA also undergoes changes and has a genetic information the characteristics of a species kwa oh, DNA ndio ambayo ina store genetic information and do not transfer genetic information RNA ina act kama kwa assistant. So RNA ni structure RNA are uh, the commons of replicate during cell division. Are uh, the replication occur during mitotic and meiotic division. Are uh, the chromosomes determine the type of protein synthesized. Kwa hiyo chromosome ina ina determines protein ambayo itatengenezwa. Na katika kutengeneza protein RNA ndio zinahusika. So the genes uh, determine the actual characteristics of an organism. In protein synthesis, the oxyo the oxyribonucleic acid acts as template for the formation of ribonucleic acid RNA so the structure of RNA inakuwa tu tofauti yake mkubwa inakuwa ina ina, uh, ina ribose sugar not the oxyribose lakini nucleotide zake pia ni guanine cytosine adenine na uracil kwa unaona huko kuna thiamine thiamine yako ndio ni huko is replaced by uracil so in DNA we don't have uracil kwa unaweza kuona kwamba huku pia uh, adenine atapea na nani na uracil uracil is also a, a, a pyrimidine uracil nayo ni pyrimidine kama ilivyo thiamine na ina one ring ko utofauti kati ya uracil na thiamine ni mdogo tu 
na ari nini single stranded kama ambavyo unaiona hapo yenyewe haina pairs na kama tulivyosema mwanzo ni we have three types of rna function of rna is involved in protein synthesis and we have three types of rna which are messenger transport pamoja na ribosome na tuzielezea kazi zake hapo chini kuna table ambayo ina summarize difference kati ya rna na na dna lakini hizi difference ni nyingi difference ambazo ndio kwetu tumesummarize kule juu ni, ni zile zile au uh, kuna mambo ya propagation stability kwa mfano RNA RNA is less stable as compared to DNA kwa nini kwa sababu RNA ina free groups na ina uwezo mkubwa ku react uh, ina oxygen at the carbon number 2 ni kwambia kwenye dioxyr dioxyr bonyo click acid tumeondoa oxygen at carbon number 2 hiyo inapunguza reactivity of DNA hence making it more stable as compared to the to the RNA so Let's end up here in the next lecture we will be discussing about the concept of inheritance uh, by Gregory Mendel. Thank you everybody. Don't forget to share this video to your fellow students and to subscribe the channel. Thank you.